Hey, good morning, everyone. How's it going today? Coach Alvarez here back at you again on this awesome Friday. Came to bring you in some more mental vitamins here. Got some fire for you here today. Um, just give me one second here. I'm trying to make some adjustments here. Hope everyone's doing good. Hope everyone's doing really good. Being positive, being active, making moves, making things happen. Good morning, Laryl. Good morning, Mr. Ted. How's it going today? All right, so I had some technical difficulties with my with my Wi-Fi there. Um, so I'm gonna start a little bit later than normal. But anyways, again, still in this awesome book here um, by Jocko, okay, the Discipline Equals Freedom book. Uh, the War Path, the War Path, I love this. A lot of things in here are really, really good. The thing about this book is he goes into um, like some workouts and and some other things, but um, the beginning of this book is a lot of it's just mindset uh, and stuff like that. So this is really good stuff um, I want to share with you guys today. So let's get into it. All right. So the war path, the path, the war path, a path of war. The actual definition of war path means moving toward a battle, a fight toward war. And that is what I'm doing and what I have always been doing, whether it was the actual war uh, against our nation's enemies or the war against my own weaknesses, that is what I'm doing. Preparing, sharpening my sword, honing my skills, maintaining the unmitigated daily discipline in all things. And the war path is a path, it's a route. It leads somewhere. Where does it lead? Yes, it can lead to war. And that is fine because I'm ready. I am waiting. But the war might not come and that is okay because the war path is always a war against weakness. And so it leads to strength. It is a war against uh, ignorance. And so it leads to knowledge. It is a war against confusion. And so it delivers understanding. And the war path leads to control and to ownership of your life. That is the war path, the path of fire and adversity, the path of blood and sweat and suffering. The war path is an amenable path of discipline, which is why it leads to freedom. And beyond that, in the end, the war path leads to peace. Um, yeah, good stuff there. The war path. I think all of us, um, and I think this is what, this is the purpose of these videos and all my other videos and everything like that. The stuff I listen to, um, it's just preparing yourself for you know, whatever comes our way, you just don't know. That's the way life is. And I think the older you get, the better you understand that when, you know, when you're younger, at least for me, you know, you don't under have, you don't have an understanding of why things happen the way they do, uh, when they do them, like the timing and everything, everything can be going really, really well. You're doing all the right things, putting all the things in the right places, treating people good. And then you get hit in the face with, you know, whatever it is. And, um, a lot of times we don't know how to adjust to that because we just weren't ready. Meaning, you know, we, we you know, if you're health in the health and fitness like I am, I mean, you're always taking care of your body. You're trying to eat right. You're working out. You're exercising, so your body's always physically fit. Um, you're 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 eating the right foods and stuff like that. But um, how much do we really spend on taking care of um, our minds? You know, our mental part to make sure that we're prepared for. The war path, you know, what we're getting ready to come up against. Like you said, the war might not come. So every day we work out, every day we eat right, every day we're reading positive things like this, um, preparing our mind for certain things, and then maybe nothing happens for a while. But that doesn't mean we take a break and we lay up on it. That means that we continue on that path to to get ready for it because you just don't know when it's coming like what happened with you know what's going on right now with the virus and everything you know totally unexpected never happened before at least for anyone that i you know obviously that's alive right now um you know as far as i know and uh it's new to a lot of people and so a lot of people um aren't adjusting well to it um it's hard for me to adjust to it it's not an easy thing but i found ways and i'm sharing these ways with you to like what i'm doing now to kind of help battle what's going on. This stuff really helps. Um, sharing the goodies, sharing what I do every day um, to help people. Uh, again, I'm getting messages, you know, um, on all the sites that I share it with. 
on how it's helped them or how they like it and what book am I reading and, you know, just whatever. And so that gives me, um, you know, uh, great pleasure and joy knowing that, you know, someone out, uh, someone else out there is listening and it's going to help them. I don't know how it's going to help them or what it's going to do for them, what kind of exact impact. But if they're asking questions, that means they're going down that, that, that path to, to try to figure it out. So it's, it's good stuff. So, um, what I like, again, what I like about this book is he's always talking about weaknesses, you know, and again, I always get that from either friends or family members close to me about, well, you know, um, not everyone can be as strong as you referring to me, you know, and I'm not like the strongest person um, mentally and I'm trying to be, you know, I'm trying to um, get to the point where, you know, when things happen, I can handle them in a really good in a better way than if I'm than if I'm not listening to the right thing. So things like this every single day, guys, makes a difference. It makes a difference. At least it makes a difference for me. And I've been doing this for years. And if you didn't catch my other messages or other videos, you know, it was just that one day walking into my jiu-jitsu academy when I was training, I think as a blue belt, and where I saw the affirmation statement on the board, and it just one day it just clicked. It, it something registered with me because whatever I was struggling with um, at that time in my life, that message that was on the board really stuck with me. And so I really started kind of digging into this stuff. And now it's just everywhere, especially nowadays, because I've already mentioned it before. You, we just have so many things to um, use for social media wise <clears throat> uh, in books and stuff like that, that have stuff like this. Of course, there's the other thing, too, if you're looking for that, if you're looking for the negative stuff in the the you know the pity parties and stuff like that that stuff is definitely out there but this stuff is out there and so this this book you know talking about um using war as a reference you know um is this really good stuff the weaknesses fighting yourself and i think that's the biggest battle whether you're a jiu-jitsu competitor trying to go win a tournament the biggest war the biggest opponent you have is your own mind it's not really the guy or the girl across from you it's the person up here. It's the person up here fighting you, telling you that you're not good enough. You're not worthy enough. You didn't, you didn't do this enough. You didn't do that enough. Um, you know, you're not training at the, at the right place. That person has more access to better jujitsu partners than you do. Whatever the case is, your mind is, is the biggest uh, opponent for most people. And if you don't know how to fight that opponent, fight yourself and battle yourself, be on this war path with yourself, um, a lot of us struggle and go down the right, wrong path because, you know, we do, we get weak and, um, you know, things start to just kind of fall apart for us. So, um, making sure every day, like you said, whether the war comes or not, every single day, we got to get up and prepare for war, the war path, you know, moving towards, um, you know, things that are going to put us in the right place, the right position. And, like you said, if the um, the war path is also a war against weakness, it leads to strength. It's a war against uh, ignorance, so it leads to knowledge. It's a war against confusion, so it leads to understanding. And it leads to control and ownership of your life. And I guess that's the biggest takeaway, you know, is this stuff really helps um, with ownership of your own life and what path you're going to take. Because if you don't have control over your own mind and your feelings and your emotions, um, when bad things happen, again, you know, when things are going great and you're, you're smiling and, you know, you're, you're really super positive during those times, that's awesome. But what about when things are pouring and raining down on you and um, what's your attitude then, you know? And I'm trying to show that in these videos. Like right now, man, th I, I want to get on the mat so bad. Like I want to train, train. I've been teaching classes. I put my gi on every day, but that's not the same. I'm teaching classes, virtual classes online to my students. I get to see their faces, some of them anyways. And um, I get a lot of joy out of that. That stuff makes my day. But it's not the same as seeing these individuals on, in person and shaking their hands and laughing with them and, and, and getting hard rounds in, you know, you know, just scrapping on the mat. Like that's that brings pure joy to me. That's what I'm waiting for. And so without stuff like this, I don't know where my mind would be, where I'd be at. I definitely wouldn't be doing stuff like this. But I'm just trying to make a point and show people, that, hey, look. Put things in the right perspective, get things around you, put the right people around you, read the right things, listen to the right things, and 
you will battle through um, you know anything and you will so the war path um, it leads to freedom so let's get that freedom and beyond that in the end it work it leads to peace is the last part of here so let's get that freedom let's get that peace of mind but you got to work at it every day you can't just listen to things when things are going bad you can't just listen to positive things when things are going good every single day I get up like I just got done shaving and, and doing my hair and everything well not hair because I don't really got any but I clean it up okay I just got cleaned up shaved everything and as I'm doing that I'm, all, I'm listening to my playlist on my other phone here and then I come in here into this room and I have this stuff around me then I have the book and I'm reading this stuff and then I go tackle my day okay so go tackle the day be on a war path battle yourself and win all right you got the good guy and the bad guy everyone has one just make sure you win um, the good guy wins all right like I've talked about before the other stuff that was in this book is uh, feed the good wolf, all right? Feed the good wolf. Don't feed the bad wolf, and uh, we're going to be all right, all right? So I know a lot of us are going through some changes now. Some of us, some of you guys lost your job. You got laid off. Um, you know, what are we going to do now? What's, what's the actions? What, what kind of steps are we going to take to make things better? We've lost some loved ones, <clears throat> you know, and uh, how are we going to deal with that? You know, we're going to just lay down and, and curl up and go into a corner and turn the lights off. Or, you know, we're going to battle through and get through this. All right. So I know you will. I know you have the strength in you to do it. So let's make it happen. You guys have a great Friday and I'll catch you guys next time.